Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for a few years now, ever since I have started college, I found this website called Notion that has made organizing and keeping track of my assignments extremely easy. I've shared my Notion template on a few videos on my channel, especially the most recent one, which was my first day of my junior year in college. So since it has now been three years of me using this website and I have gotten countless questions of people asking me, how do I make these pages? I've decided that today I'm going to make an entire tutorial on how to make a Notion page exactly like mine. If you are actually unfamiliar of what a Notion page is and you have just decided to click on this video today, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here and just show you what it looks like. It is just a super easy way to keep track of your assignments. Right here listed are all of my assignments for every single class and then down here I can look at every subject individually. So now that we have done a little introduction and you guys know what is about to go on, I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I hope you guys can keep up and if any of you guys end up making a notion, send it to me on Instagram because I'm super intrigued to see what you guys come up with. Thank you for watching. The first step that you need to take in order to create a notion template is to open up a search engine. Personally, I would recommend Google because you can very quickly sign into your Gmail, which you will need to create a Notion profile. So once you go ahead and do that, what you need to search is Notion University Hub Template. Once you search for that, this first link right here is the one that you will need to click on. And you need to go over and press Get Template. As you can see, I am already signed into my Google account, so all I need to do is press Add to Private. It takes a little second to load. But here we are, this is what your Notion template should immediately look like right off the bat. The first thing that I go ahead and do is delete some of the extra things that I personally do not feel like I need. There are a bunch of empty spaces right here so you can add text, there's also an area where you can put a quote or an area where you can add reminders. Personally, I have felt that I've never found those aspects necessary so I have just gone through and deleted them. Another thing that I do is I shrink the calendar so I can mainly pay attention to the table. Obviously that is another preference thing, but this table right here is what we are going to be working on today. This is the area that lists the subjects and once again I'm going to go ahead and go down here and delete these tables and extra stuff because I've never used it. So scrolling up, this is what your Notion plate should look like now. The first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and change the cover photo. Notion has a few options available. Here are some plain colors or some other fancy images. But what I like to do is go ahead and go on Pinterest. Once I get logged in here, I kind of think about the way that I want my Notion template to look. So green is one of my favorite colors, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just look up green aesthetic. As you can see, there are many super, super cute options here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is find an image that I would love to be my cover photo, such as this one right here. So then what we need to do is save this image to our downloads, and then I'm going to go ahead and open that download up and turn it vertical so it can fit in the cover photo. Then we are going to head back to Notion and open the Upload tab, and we are going to upload that file from our downloads. And there you have it. Here is a super cute cover photo. I think it's adorable. I love it. Then we're going to head back to Pinterest and find another image that we would love to be our icon photo. So once we head back to Notion and click on this icon, we can see they do have some options available. You can use emojis or they have built-in icons, but I'm going to go ahead and upload my own photo. So here this one is, and I think it is super cute. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just change the name of my Notion. I just go ahead and name it College because I feel like that is pretty self-explanatory. Now we are going to scroll down and we are going to focus on the subjects. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys is just make a few different random subjects. We have a math one, an English one. It looks like there's already a biology one pre-made, but I'm going to go ahead and rename this. And then I'm actually also going to make a fourth one as well, just called social studies. 
So let's go back to the biology one so I can show you how to customize it. So there is an area where you can put your professor's name. I'm going to go ahead and use Cordelia's name. You can go ahead and put what semester it is. If you click on these three little dots, you can change the color of it. And also here we have the year, which it naturally says 2021. So we're going to go ahead and correct that. And once again, like the home page, there are just a bunch of extra things that I do not find necessary to have on my Notion. So I'm just going to go through and delete them. I think some of these areas could actually be super helpful. Like down here, there is a notes section. If you would like to take notes in your Notion, that would be a great idea, but I actually use Google Docs, so I just don't need it. So we're just gonna keep going through and deleting all of those. So now what we are going to do is go ahead and make some pretend assignments here. So I'm just going to delete all of these names that they already have put in here. So let's just come up with a few different assignments for biology. We're going to have a biology lab and a discussion board as well as an exam and a final exam. So another cool thing is you can actually keep track of the type of assignment. I just gave you an example of how to add a new type. And we are just going to go ahead and go through here and fill out the rest of the assignments. So the next thing that you can do is keep track of due dates. But one thing you want to make sure is you have the right time zone. Right now I have the Australian time zone listed, so I'm going to go ahead and correct that to my area. And once we've done that, I can go ahead and fill out some due dates for this assignment. Once again, we need to correct the year. And we are going to go ahead and follow that same procedure for all of these assignments listed here. Personally, I think Notion is amazing for this reason right here. You can so easily keep track of all of the names of your assignments, the days that they are due, as well as the times. The next thing that is super important to do is to press this plus button and scroll down to select the checkbox. Once you have all the things necessary, you can go ahead and drag the titles to kind of rearrange the way you want your Notion to look. I personally like it to be this way because you can easily see the name of the assignment, the due date, and once you complete it, you can go ahead and check it. So this is kind of a general view of what your Notion is going to look like with your assignments filled out. But one thing we need to pay attention to is we are in the biology subject section right now, and these are all biology assignments, but under the subject page, we do not have biology listed. So we already have a biology title right here, so we can go ahead and edit the name, and we can also change the color. And then we need to make sure that every assignment on this page is listed with the biology subject. So here is what your page should look like completed. So one issue that remains is if we open up this math subject right here, we can see that our biology assignments are listed, which is not good. So we need to go back to our biology section and click on filters and subject. And we need to make sure there's a filter that only shows the biology assignments. Now that we've done that, the only assignments that will show up are biology ones. Another thing that is important to do is to click on due date and make sure that your assignments are in chronological order. As you can see, they are not right now, so we need to click set ascending. Um, it actually looks like I have an assignment from 2021, so let's fix that. So this is what the biology table looks like completely finished. It is super organized and very helpful. So now what we can do is change the cover and the icon like we did at the home page. So here we are again back on Pinterest and let's just pick out some cute photos. And then we are going to head back to our Notion page, click change cover again and upload a file. And we are going to upload those images. We're going to follow the same process with the icon image. As you can see, now my biology subject is super customized and organized and it looks very cute. And here is what it looks like listed under our subjects page. So now what we are going to go ahead and do is click on the math icon and we are going to follow the same process. So we can go ahead and click here, add icon and add cover. Later we will go ahead and customize those. 
Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and delete all this extra stuff. I also wanted to let you guys know that the import syllabus button is super cool. You can upload your syllabus for the class on your Notion page, super helpful. And another helpful tip is if you don't want it in the middle of your Notion page, you can grab those dots and drag it to the bottom. So let's continue deleting all this stuff we do not need. So here we are with our math subject page, but as we scroll down, we can see that our biology assignments are showing up, which is not good. So what we're going to do is create a math assignment and we are going to fill out the remaining information for it, such as the task and the due date and time. Then what we need to do, which is very important, is take one of these names right here. We can go in there and customize it to make it say math. Now we can see some bio assignments and math assignments, which is not good. So we need to go back up to the filter and click subject and subject this class by math assignments only. And as you can see, all of the biology ones disappeared and we only have math ones. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is follow some of the same processes that I already did for the biology class. I also wanted to let you guys know you can add some different properties on here, like your teacher's email or their phone number. It is all completely based off of your preferences. But now off camera, I'm going to follow the same process and pick a cover and icon for my math course. Here is now my biology and math course completed, so now we're going to head over to English. I'm going to follow all of the same processes for this class off camera, but I want to show you guys what to do if the table's not showing up, so go ahead and click on subject name. And as you can see, here is the same layout that we've had in all of the other classes. So we're going to follow the exact same things. We're going to go through and delete things. And then we're going to go through and subject this class to only English assignments. It is a long process, but you need to make sure you follow the same steps with every single class to get good results. Now I'm going to go ahead and follow the same process for the social studies subject as well. Now that I'm finished, I want to share another tip with you guys. So if you look under your assignments, there's a button that says calculate. So what you want to go ahead and do is press count all. That way you can see the total amount of your assignments. And then also under the checkbox, do percent checked. So that way you can see what percent of assignments you have completed so far. And you can go ahead and do that for every single class. So these are what each of the subjects look like all completed. They are very aesthetically pleasing and very cute to the eye. So once we scroll back up, we can actually see that all of our assignments for every single class are listed right here with all of the due dates, but we also want to make sure that these are sending here as well. So they are in order of due date. We can also follow that same tip to see how many assignments we have in total for the entire semester. And we can also do the same thing with the percentage to see how far along we are until we are done. As you can see, the more you check, the percentage goes up. Very quickly, I just want to go back down and show you that when you click on the individual subjects, only the assignments for those classes are listed because we subjected them to specific classes. But up here, we can see every assignment for every class. Also, for those of you who enjoy looking at your assignments on a calendar, we can drag this back over and here they all are. I personally enjoy using the table though, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink the calendar once again. And once we scroll back up, you can go ahead and see that we have finished our Notion template. I personally love Notion because it is so specific to one person. I had the opportunity to customize nearly everything on this page. And it is genuinely a very, very helpful way to keep track of all of my assignments. It makes it super easy to stay on top of things because you can look at all your assignments individually in subjects or all of your assignments as a whole for the entire semester. 
Typically, I complete this on the first day of school when all of my professors give me my schedule of assignments, and that way I am always caught up. Using Notion has honestly increased my motivation because every time I click a checkbox, it makes me feel so much better about life. Let me know if you guys end up making a page, and thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, this is not sponsored. This entire video seemed so sponsored, but genuinely I've been making these pages for a few years now and everyone has just been so curious. So that is my reason for making this today. Thank you guys and subscribe.